Roblox jailbreak can be a little confusing to new players regarding these campers, the toxic people, and those police will just use the taser and then arrest you when you can't do it, and of course the tryhards. But if you follow this video, you will absolutely flush those cops and make millions of money and get the best cars in the game. And this video will also make you flip out of that Camaro into the Parisian? Now when the first time you're playing, you're greeted with this, you either choose the police or you either choose the criminal. Now for now, we are going to do for the criminal, so... Uh, so in the first time you're confused in this big place, oh my god, what a big messy prison, I wonder what I can do here. So before we start, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, make so much effort for this video, for you guys to learn whatever it takes to escape this stupid game. And yeah, let's begin! Starting with the quickest method to escape the prison is to keep hitting the power box. So keep hitting it and the door will open and will get a bit hurt and just do a little quick parkour here. Just jump and jump and jump and there we go. And I recommend getting to, uh, this vehicle, it only costs 10k so you could escape uh, the prison very easily. And there we go, you have escaped it, the prison. And also guys, if you're willing to escape without, you know, trying to get through here and then just going out and just wait to be become a criminal, all you have to do is go here and just jump. This might take your health a bit. And there we go. So easy. And if you guys got some camping cop near you, like our guy Kyle here, just trying to camp and arrest people but if you hit, keep heading on this thing while the police camper is near you you will get arrested now if you wanna get if you wanna escape from those camping cops you have the sewer just keep pressing E and eventually this will open what why did I uh, anyway this wasn't supposed to happen so just go your way here and just keep on moving till you finish the lane Now guys, if the camping, camping cops are not outside the prison, that's great, so you can use this one. So, and there we go, you have escaped camping cops easily, congratulations. Now when you first uh, uh, escape the police, you see a robberies, and you know, don't know what to do and where to stop. Now let's head on to all the robberies guide. When playing jailbreak, jailbreak offers you a lot of robberies to get money from, and these robberies are the cargo plane, the cargo ship, the cargo train, a casino, and the bank, the jewelry store, and the mansion, the CEO, the passenger train, the power plant, the, another bank, and the oil rig, and there is also the, the bank truck, the museum, and the tomb. But also let's not forget about the two robberies that give you a very little amount of money, and those are the donut store and the gas store. Did you know that some robberies can give you something called a hyperchrome? So what are hyperchromes? Hyperchromes are special customization colors in jailbreak. They can be only obtained via the robbery bonus reward system. Unlike normal customization color and the terms of appearance, hyperchromes are absolutely shiny and reflective. There are five levels of hy hyperchrome, but the more level you get, uh, the, m the more difficult you will be able to get. This also depends on luck. If you are Nagi Chokomae, then you might also get your hyperchrome very quickly. And if you are the ultimate but a lucky student just like me, you might get your very first hypercrumb of 100% chance. But let's go over every robbery in what hypercrumb it gives. You have the hyper yellow, which can be obtained by the train, you have the orange, which can be obtained by the museum, the purple can be obtained by the power plant, the pink from the casino, and the diamond from the jewelry store, the blue from the cargo plane, the green from the bank, and the red from the tomb. Now that you know each robbery and what hypochrome it gives, let's start off with the most easy robbery and the most uh, uh, robbery that gives you a lot of money, the CEO or the mansion. 
Now you guys might be saying, what the hell are you saying boy? The CEO is so hard to defeat and it takes a lot of process just to get the invite. But trust me, after this uh, this video you will absolutely know how to uh, defeat the CEO very easily and it will take absolutely no effort. Just keep watching. If you guys want to grind and jailbreak very fast, you might also join the official jailbreak discord. So if you join it, you go to VIP links, the, there are multiple links over here, uh, you can grind them with friends, and also there is no police that can arrest you, all the servers are friendly, and even if there is police, you, they will never arrest you, because mostly the handcuffs were going to be disabled. One useful glitch guys in here to get the invite, so we could go to the CEO, is to press F11 and hold shift and E and keep clicking on the white bar that screams ROBLOX and keep clicking it every 5 seconds or 3 seconds so we can see your progress this will freeze your game and the bandits that will drop out will not be able to kill you and as you guys can see I got the invite successfully and I got also some money and as you can see guys I got some save and there is also guys this this glitch that may, may come in handy to mobile players you just have to look up and wait for for this t thing to drop on the floor and crouch and I also have an advice for you you must make your avatar a little bit less taller so the uh, so the bandits can shoot you because you might ha you may have a leg or you might have your head or you might have your arm out so they have a chance to shoot you and then kill you as you can see guys I got a free $10,000 cash and now let's head on to how to do the CEO all right guys now the first thing you want to do is to drive to the CEO or a mansion looking place and then just do some parkour and then get to the elevator if you have acquired the mansion invite try to do some simple parkour here try not to touch these uh, white looking transparent blocks they will kill you they will give you uh, they will uh, take a lot of your health and wait for the cutscene to end with the CEO and also say to your friend or uh, the apprentice that you're going with to go behind the, this door right here so uh, the, the NPCs cannot kill you and aim for the CEO's head basically the boss to kill him faster now when you're close to defeating the CEO, make sure your friend stays behind the door or you'll, the, you'll see guys the NPCs will kill us as you can see right here but if the NPCs guys kill you, you will not get money so you have to stay there a little bit uh, until you get teleported back and as you guys can see, we got a free $13,000 effortlessly and we got a free cosmetic or something else from the bonus reward roll and see guys, that was very completely easy to do, and we got ourselves a free $13,000. Now let's go to the second robbery that gives you a lot of money, the tomb. Now you guys might need 3 players to start this, so one, each player has to stand on a bed, and this big door will open, and you just stand here and wait till you fall, nothing bad will happen. And you just need to do this absolutely easy parkour right here, as you can see guys on the screen, you just go forward right here. And guys also watch out for these pads when they light up that means that an arrow will hit you and if an arrow hit you you will lose a lot of damage and also here guys you have to wait uh, for, for these things to uh, you know respawn these planks so you gotta run on them and keep running if you stop you will fall and then you the process you will have to start it all over again and also uh, open these things grab it generally if you don't grab them the robbery will fail and go on the minecart or whatever you want to call it and go on the rail and it's absolutely important to duck and also uh, do this thing like to the right to make it faster for you to finish the robbery and always duck for you to not uh, get damaged And also guys, as you can see, we got a free $7,000. And also if you complete the Tomb Robber for the very first time, you also get this spoiler. Cool, am I right? Now let's move on to the third robbery that will give you a lot of money. And that is the cargo ship. You will definitely need a helicopter to do this quest. And there are two locations for free helicopters where spawn. The first one is the in the police center near the museum. And the second one is in the, in the prison. Wait, no, 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 no. 
Well, guess why? It's because if you go to the prison and get your helicopter there, it's uh, most likely they will, you will get arrested, so it's more safe to go to the police center near the museum. And I'll show you how to do this very quickly and without getting caught. The first thing you want to do is climb up this little hill right here and then jump and roll. And also, if your avatar is a little too small, once again, roll and jump. And hold E to hijack your helicopter so we could get in. Now once you hijack it, congratulations, the helicopter is now yours, steal it, do whatever you can with it. Now once you see a ship looking icon, head over to it with your helicopter and just keep moving until you find the ship. Oh, man. Also make sure to press G on your keyboard or click the rope icon to land out the rope and then get to the closest cargo container you have and stay on, on, above it for a little bit of time and you will get it with your helicopter and take it to, to, uh, to the specific place that uh, the arrows are hinting you to go to and now just keep going with your helicopter until you reach this this place here and uh, when reaching this place press G or the rope once again to land out the rope to the black hole and to get your reward but plot twist the robbery does not end here did you know that you can rob the ship twice uh, but in the second one you might get more or less who cares anyway? But for the robberies besides these these three, I just dodge the lasers. Dodge the lasers, do not touch them. D discover this stuff for yourself. It's fun when you discover new robberies in Jailbreak. It just makes the game a lot cool, don't you think? And now guys, you want me to tell, to tell you what vehicle is the best for grinding for noobs. Okay, I got you man. Now the best vehicle to grind with is the Model 3. The Model 3 spawns near the bank. It is very good in stats, better than the Camaro to be honest. This thing has a good top speed and acceleration for the beginners for grinding. And unfortunately I don't think you can do the power plant with this thing since it is very slow to do for the power plant. With that being said, the vehicle only costs 16 k dollars and pairing it with the level 5 engine and the level 3 brakes makes it an even more cool vehicle for grinding since the level 5 engine gives you the double speed of the original car when not upgraded. Now to customize your vehicle, go to the garage and you will find a lot of uh, engines. You have engines 1, 2, 4, 5. Uh, you might uh, upgrade your engine as you're liking to make the car faster over time. As the time passes and you rob a lot, if you reach $50,000, you might as well go buy the level 5 engine to make your car very, very fast. And also make sure to, to buy the level 3 brakes to make your car uh, go uh, quicker and uh, stop faster. And now when you get money, you get money. Uh, so the second vehicle for grinding, you have the uh, Shell Mark V. The Shell Mark V is actually be uh, slightly uh, better and more cheaper than the original Lamborghini since it has uh, better stats and it can go 200 miles per hour, like I said, in the level 5 engine, more than the top speed of the Lamborghini, which, which costs 100,000 cash. No, 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 you should get the Shell Mark V, it's so good. Oh, 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 did you guys know about this glitch that can get you to very high buildings just using your vehicle? All you gotta do is hold jump, and then you, as you can see the vehicle is just jumping too, and then... Oh my god, I didn't show this one escaping the prison so easy, I'm sorry! Did you also know that the rocket fuel can push your car to its limits going on infinite speed going like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay guys, no. That's it for the vehicle guys, no. Let's go to the most important part. The weapons. Yeah, yeah. Weapons guys are very important in jailbreak, they can also help you escape cops, kill that one toxic kid that says L is you guys don't know how to play, you're so dog. I mean most of you guys came here just to see the best loadouts so you could make these kids shut the fuck up and cry in their room when they always get beaten by you. Now let's go over a very cool trick that give you the upper hand in PvPs or 1v1 or when encountering the police. Do you guys want to make the cops harder? 
to hit you with the chaser or do you want to make it too harder for them to hit you with the weapons so i've got a trick on the avatar editor that can make a very small and for the cops not even see you in the dark i've got some people admitting to this honestly and saying that they cannot even look at me in the dark and, or even just kill me and or arrest me so to begin with guys um we need we need uh, we need to remove our head accessories here just remove them and remove everything you have face front back anything now guys once you're done removing your accessories remove some of your hair just like this one and now there is the fun part now first just make your avatar very small very 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 small and now then just make everything small okay good so um uh, oh okay so we are gonna do some little trolling now first thing if you have the kidneys uh, torso avatar thing from Lulubu, you know that one chinese event just equip it right there and equip the body equip it and everything wait uh, no wait oh yeah just equip denny from the left arm and the right arm too and then um we'll come into the left and leg le left and the right legs copy the kidneys uh, and again the kidneys avatar now once you're done um try to uh, make your avatar black black guys so nobody can see you in the police team so make your avatar very dark and then go to the clothing you guys can get some black clothing here for free they're absolutely free on the avatar shop just like this one and then we're going for the pants we're going to go with this one since it's more black and now let's go to the right and left shoes we got this uh you can guys get random items and again just this now you guys as you can see here you got a very small avatar for absolutely zero robux how cool is that now guys that you know this trick pair it with the a pistol and the shotgun those two are very effective against 1v1s for very very beginners Um, guys, once again, if you are in a situation just like me, I almost died of prison. You guys have a donut here. Eat it! Nom nom nom. Oh no, guys, looks like someone does not know who they're playing with. Oh my god. Wow! 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 Did you see that, guys? That was so cool! And guys, once you upgrade your money over time, if you have a $15,000, go buy the AK-47 and add it to that combo. So the combo must be uh, the pistol, the shotgun, and uh, the third one must be the AK-47. This will make it a very good uh, loadout for the medium or starter loadout. Once you guys get more rich, you should get the force field. It only costs thirty thousand dollars and makes you replenish your health even quicker when inside the bubble. And also makes you invulnerable for to bullets for a bit of time. Also get the plasma pistol as it can shoot enemies from inside your force field bubble. I mean, the plasma pistol is an optional choice if you really have a grudge on the police. And guys, there is a feature that is neglected by new geobug players or even they don't know about this, and that is the minimap. The minimap can be very very useful, but the minimap can tell you whenever a cop is coming uh, by, uh, by a flashing blue light circle thing that indicates that a cop is in your area. For you very very pros over there, I got the best setup that can make you flush those cops immediately, so... Um, uh, the first one you wanna equip is the uh, revolver or the deagle, now the uh, second is the sniper, and the third is the flintlock, and then those two... And absolutely, I swear, if you have very very good aim, you will absolutely flush those cops, trust me! But you guys also know that the flintlock, this thing can get you to far distances very very easily. Now for example, I want to go to this donut store right here very quickly, so I'll just do this. And then, roll. And here I go guys, I have reached the donut store quickly. But guys, I won't use the flintlock and this one, I'm just gonna roll and jump. Oh my god, it takes so long. You guys can see the difference, it's obvious. 
And one good thing about this is that it takes 45 damage per shot. Uh, but it reloads so slow like the chaser. But don't make yourself a hero because just you can fight cops with this setup. That also the cops can also have a very higher advantage, but they have the chaser and the handcuffs. Uh the chaser and the handcuffs are so annoying, jinkies! But I'll show you guys how we can avoid the handcuffs and the chaser, like doing like sui swoosh ninja moves. Wow, that rhymes! The first thing you guys want to do is to keep moving and to jumping at the same time so the cops can be harder for them to hit you and also when trying to battle a cop get as far as possible because if they get closer to you they can use the chaser and then paralyze you just like here. One thing guys if you want to dodge the chaser thing uh, wait for this thing you know the circle wait one second because this will make their brain prepare to hit you with the chaser and then after we wait one second roll to the right or to the left so they can't hit you with the taser and as of for the handcuffs try not to get too close to the police try to go as far as possible so they they cannot arrest you because their handcuffs have a very weird range so they can arrest you from a little bit too far away and with all of this guys we can finish the video i hope these tips have helped you to become a better player jailbreak player and all I want from you is to subscribe and like. As I'm getting closer to 300, uh, I mean 3,000 watch hours, because at that point I will start being paid, and that will be so help, so helpful. Because I might upgrade my setup. You know, the shit I have right now is so very broken and bad, and I might as well go visit a therapist because I'm so mentally ill. Aside from that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you a better job player. A heck even better than me and I'll see you in the next video. Stay cold, bye!